right, I found the culprit to the problem. This socket right here, the plastic was um, cracked, broke in half, and the air conditioner was plugged into this. Well, it shorted out. <clears throat> well, it, it touched the metal around the edges here. So I believe that was the problem. Uh, my generator overheated. Or I'm not sure what happened, but all I know is this was cracked and broken, and the, the plug-in for the air conditioner, it touched that metal. So, yep, that seemed to be the problem why the generator shut down. Uh, but I'm going to go out and try to start the generator again, and we'll see how it goes. You know, electricity we got back on that night. This was last night. Uh, back on about 1030 at night. Uh, but it was hot as Hades, I tell you. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't tried to start this since yesterday or since last night. So let me see if it starts up. It was really hot on the top. I took it apart and I checked the oil. And I uh, checked the spark plug. And everything was fine. And uh, so let's see if it'll start. Hang on, I'm gonna have to set the phone down. Yep, started right up, so it just got too hot, what it was. I hope that's what it was. It don't seem to be running great. Oh, here we go. So that could have been really bad. I have never had that happen before. I've used that generator in that way for the last three years during the summer. The electric always goes out, out where I park at. Never had a problem with it, but somehow that face plate there or something on that uh, where I plug in the air conditioner was broke. And um, I noticed what, what I noticed first besides the generator going off was I reached down to touch that and it was warm, it was hot. And so I unplugged it and seen that that was split, or part of it was already, it had been split when I plugged it in. I seen it on the floor at that point and the generator wouldn't start back up yesterday uh, or last night. And so it it was warm, it was, it was not warm, it was hot. I almost put the cats out in the tent at dark. It was still warm though and, uh, but this morning uh, the generator starts up fine I checked everything on it this is fine it's not hot or anything uh, so I yeah I don't know what happened it was weird and the electric had went out about 4 30 so it was out from 4 30 to 10 30 and it happens every year that's why I keep uh, this generator in case that ever does happen or if I'm out uh, boondocking somewhere I have this generator so I was very lucky I, I uh, after feeling how hot that plug was uh, very lucky. It scared me, uh, definitely. And uh, like I said, I've never had a problem like this before. I don't know what was going on, but it was 105 degrees uh, when the uh, electric in this area went out. Uh, there was some people hurting pretty bad out here in this area that their house, they live in small houses, and they were directly in the sun with no air conditioner or nothing. So yeah, I felt sorry for them. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I think I looked out on that and I keep an eye on it. I always do keep an eye on it because that's one thing that scares me, any kind of fires or anything. I have the air on and I have it dark in here. It's staying nice and cool. I was going to put the kitties out this morning, but it was already so dang hot uh, by 10 a.m. And it's supposed to be 108 today and 110 tomorrow, so they say. Cooking some chicken and vegetables for dinner tonight. I'm cooking them this morning so it won't be so hot later on. I don't want to cook them in the van when it's so hot. You know, I consider myself to be very prepared. Well, I try to be prepared with most things, but preparedness can be fragile, I think, sometimes. Uh, you know, I have that generator for times like this, or if I had to be unplugged or whatever, that happening, you know, just it, it freaks me out. It's like, oh man, my generator's broke too and that shorted out or it could have been a fire uh, it just 
it was scary. Definitely it bothered me. I had a tough time sleeping last night. Uh, I've been checking on it and, and it was just that one plug in where I plug it in at something broke that. I don't know what happened. It was odd. And anytime I'm not in my van, I'm not going to be in my van. I, when it's hot like this, I try to always be here. I can have the air on for the kitties, but very rarely if I, I'm out of the van or away from it when it's hot weather, because I just can't handle the heat. But I, so I'm always here and I always keep an eye on it. Yeah, that just scared the crap out of me. I don't know. I didn't sleep well last night. I looked tired. My hair's messed. I went to bed. I wet my head down. My hair was everywhere when I woke up. I wet my head down and uh, went to sleep with my head wet. And so yeah, yeah, bad hair day, but I have a lot of those. It's van life. Uh, anyway, so today I am not doing much again. I am staying inside today, tomorrow, and the next day. It's supposed to be the hottest of the week. Uh, we're looking at anywhere from 108 to 110, they're saying, over the next few days. That's crazy weather to me. That's just crazy hot. I mean, that's... I used to live in Arizona when I was a kid, and I know it gets hotter there. You know, I've seen it 120. But, you know, you're used to that heat uh, when you're there, or you try to get used to it. But here... It's a different kind of heat. Uh, I would almost say humid, but yesterday's heat, when that electric went out, the heat was, the air was hot. It wasn't humid. It was just nasty hot. And uh, I thought it was, it just, I, man, I just can't believe it. And I was, I was uh, watching a video. They were saying El Nino, and there's another L name. I don't know what's going on in, uh, across the world. It's making things, you know, these heat waves happen. The best advice I can give new people to van life or rv life or even car life just keep an eye on anything electrical for sure i mean like i i always do uh i only have uh, this is i only have one outlet in my van and i don't run that much uh my lights run off of my house battery but my uh the air conditioner and my pacemaker monitor runs on uh, that plug-in that I showed you, and I have a Wi-Fi extender plugged into it, which the, the, the Wi-Fi extender and the pacemaker monitor don't pull up much wattage at all. Um, and my fridge. Uh, the fridge is plugged into another spot. That's all I really run electric, and um, I don't know how that got broke, but it did. Uh, and it, it, man, that could have been bad. I don't know. It just really put a scare into me, that's for sure. So good advice, guys, is always keep an eye on stuff keep an eye on your electrical stuff um and and stay safe because that is just one of the worst things that can happen uh i've seen so many of uh, uh, videos on youtube of rvs especially uh burning to the ground due to something electrical or you know something with their stove or something but um i'm i'm real careful with that for sure but freaking crazy all right guys that's all i got for you today just letting you know what's going on here and uh i got a little scared you gotta put a put, put the fear into me but uh it's all good now so you guys take care of yourselves take care of each other peace out